like people should just try Bambi. Just try it. Once they try it for oh. like one week, they're gonna be like, oh no, you know how much time this saves us. Yeah. <laughs> they're never gonna go back to those, any other software. Oh, I'm so glad we're <laughs> still recording right now. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, you started with three vehicles. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I guess those vehicles started doing more and more work rather than mm -hmm. sitting idle. And yes. um, this year you started with three. What are you up to now? We have eight. Okay, so not only did you, you maxed out capacity for those three and then you, you were forced to get more and more vehicles because mm -hmm. you had so much business. Yeah, and we had to get the big, the bigger vans because the hospitals don't particularly care for the smaller vans. So we had to get the bigger, like the Rams instead of the caravans that we were using for the wheelchairs. So okay. how did hospitals get their patients moved around before protector transport services came into being? So they use a lot of ambulance companies because we're not emergency, obviously. So they do use a lot of ambulance companies, but it is like really, really slow and it takes them days to get their patients out, like once they're discharged. So um, they that's what they used before and nobody would show up on time. Somebody would, they would call somebody, they'd get there in two days. So we have been like canvassing to these hospitals and promoting our services. Like, you know, I know normally people charge insurances, but not a lot of insurance pay for it. So a lot of ambulance companies have collection companies and they bill these people. But why don't you guys pay us a few hundred dollars for a trip? And then you're saving thousands of dollars and people waiting there two and three days to get discharged. And so a lot of hospitals, it's like, oh, that's a good idea. So <laughs> they've been, we got a few contracts that way. So yeah. that's awesome. I've heard a similar story elsewhere. It's like you, you hear this commonly, uh, these facilities, hospitals, they just think ambulance is the only option because yeah. either there are no NEMT businesses in the area or they don't mm -hmm. know. About it. But right. Then you go and start knocking on these hospitals doors and say, hey, you don't have to pay so much money for an ambulance use right. us. it's just like immediately just yeah common and they told us that once the doctor signs the papers like this patient can be discharged the insurance company won't pay them another dollar for care so all that care they have to give them for those two or three days they have to pay out of their pocket so, so it's like a no-brainer out of the bed and they'll exactly. pay your nemt business yep. a lot to mm -hmm. it's like a fraction to to save yeah. money. yep that's awesome. So, what are your plans for the next year? You know, by this time, 2025. Oh man. So yeah, my husband is a dreamer, a big dreamer. So <laughs> he's working on one of the biggest hospitals in the area. He's working on getting a contract with them for like all of their locations. And then he's also working on getting some government contracts. So, I mean, he's trying to have a hundred vans by next year. So we'll see. <laughs> I love it. You got to dream big to be big. Yeah. And he does. He does. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about your software system. So at some point over the past year, you got onto a software system. Mm -hmm. You had some experience with that. And then you decided to end that and move over to Bambi. Can you talk about each phase, like getting onto your first software system, mm -hmm. how that went? hearing about Bambi and making the move. We did like research and trying to find the best one for us to use that had the most features and all of this stuff. So we found Route Genie, which the demo looked amazing. It looked like everything we could ever imagine that we wanted. So we were like, yes, sign us up. <laughs> so we signed up and from the time we signed up until we got rid of it, I did not know how to use it at all. I mean, not even a little bit. Like I could. We're computer techs. Yeah. I mean, I can do anything pretty much on a computer and I could not use it. So I knew how to put like a vehicle in kind of, <laughs> but if I didn't click the right buttons or do the right thing, it wouldn't let you book a trip to that vehicle. So I really did not know how to use it. And I mean, this was months of, and I can say I did not use it every day because I wasn't the one scheduling the trips every day. But I still, after months, did not know how to use it properly. Um, the our We don't have her anymore, but our office manager at the time, she didn't know how to use it and she used it every single day. So it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Even just trying to 
reach out to contact customer service for a better understanding of, of like how she said why we couldn't assign this vehicle mm -hmm. to a driver or a driver to a vehicle or a patient to the trip whichever it was we, we would reach out to customer service and i can tell you it's been about four or five months and i still haven't heard back from some of the calls <laughs> i personally made and so that was a bit <laughs> frustrating and we would just kind of have to to wing the trips and use MapQuest, you know or, or apple maps on our phones yeah. to get us and we would have to text each other the wait times and the pickup address the patient info just to get us from here from from a to b because the system the software that we were working we couldn't figure out yeah every night we had to text every driver their hours for the next day their trips for the next day what vehicle what vehicle they were in like it was just and this was after like months of using it it wasn't even just when we started it was the whole entire time we had it mm -hmm. how many months were you on it about four yeah about three or four months okay. it was terrible it was terrible yeah. i i didn't have any interest uh in the least to even learn it i would try and it would just you know it, it was just a very very difficult system to navigate so when we did look into getting bambi and with julian i mean julian he came in and gave us a tour yeah he said you need to get this <laughs> yeah he came in and showed us how to use it and it was just like super interesting and we sat down with you and so i actually did a podcast episode with julian um I don't oh know gosh he's funny episode. i actually oh, watched cute. that podcast on youtube did because, you? yes because when i was that's um, doing some training with our new assistant and I wanted her to have a little bit of a background about Bambi. So I just went on YouTube and found that. And I was like, that's who referred us. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> so I had her watch it. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, that was, that was a fun one. Actually, I hadn't even planned on recording with him. I was just like getting on to say, thank you. Then he started talking. I was like, this is good. I'm just going to hit the record button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what you did to me without the record button on Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's okay. All good. But it is a good system. It is simple. It is user friendly. Yeah. We have no complaints, and half the things we can really figure out on our own because it's pretty self explanatory. Beautiful. So glad <laughs> I'm recording right now. <laughs> it was a really, really easy process from changing over. So even just taking the patients out of Route Genie and putting them in Bambi, I learned after about three or four uh, intake, I don't want to call them intakes, but entering in the information, it was just from there, it was, it's very self-explanatory on what you need. That's awesome to hear. I think a lot of folks are daunted at the prospect of moving from one software system to another. Um, maybe because they think that like, it was so hard to get onto the first one, moving from one to another must be so oh, yeah. difficult if it was like that i would have never been able to switch but because that was terrible mm -hmm. but it was so much easier just to switch and put everything in bambi and just it was so much easier so much easier can you tell us how much time it took you from move from to move from your existing system to bambi i did it and because i also have other uh responsibilities i don't think it took me more than than two days yeah and that was with my other responsibilities that included in those days and from the time we switched until we were using it full time was less than two weeks yep so we were using it full time for booking all the trips sending everything to the driver driver apps and everything was less than two weeks from the time we signed up to we mm -hmm. were using it full time was there any was there difficult any part, part about it? No. Mm -mm. Every time I've reached out um, to either you or even Courtney, I've gotten a response very quickly. Um, I know there's been things that we've reached out for, and then within five minutes, we've been able to figure it out ourselves, yeah. and we'll send a you know send a quick email. Never mind, disregard because we've already figured it out. It's just a really really yeah. Simple nothing process. was difficult. I wouldn't say anything was difficult some stuff you didn't know obviously because mm -hmm. it's brand new but it wasn't difficult to figure out or difficult to get an answer to what we were doing wrong or what we are how to do something mm -hmm. so nothing was difficult and we also did things in stages mm -hmm. i feel like 
So we took the time to transport, transport, transfer our patients from Route Genie to Bambi. Then we took the time, we took a week and we let the guys, after we downloaded all the driver apps, we let them still use Route Genie and Bambi so that they could try to start to learn Bambi, but at the same time, if they needed to fall back on Route Genie and the text messages, they had that, but we only gave them a week to do that. And then it was like, you guys got to learn how to do Bambi. And then I think after two or three weeks, we started to learn how to do the billing yeah. and the invoicing and the payment processing in Bambi. So we didn't do it all in one sitting. We gradually grew to learn Bambi as a whole, if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. If you were to recommend someone else, you know, to move from whatever system onto Bambi, would you tell them to do it the same way that you did it, like piece by piece over a certain amount of time? I think that just depends on the type of personality the person has. I think some people work really good if everything is thrown at them at one time. And then other people are like, okay, I need, let me just concentrate on this task, get this complete, then I can move on to my next one. So I think it's just the person. Either way, I think is pretty simple and yeah. easy to do. If, I think if somebody tried to do it all at once, they wouldn't have any problems. Yeah. Okay, cool. But it definitely for us, because there were so many different, moving parts to what we were trying to do at the time it was definitely easier for us to do it in, in small pieces but even doing it in small pieces didn't take us very long a day the drivers how was it for them so like you gave them a week of like using both the existing systems app and bambi's driver app at the same time well for i can tell you they didn't really use the existing systems app. They used our text messages. And so we kind of coddled them a little bit. So they had their schedules texted to them, the addresses and all, their trips texted to them. So they used the old system, some for like where to go to pick them up and stuff like that. But they would text not like they use Bambi. Mm -hmm. They had to text like when they got somewhere, text when they picked them up, text when they dropped them off. So it's not the same as using Bambi. It was just different. They used it to see their trips and the addresses and stuff, but it wasn't exactly the same. So, and but some of them are tech savvy. None, yeah, <laughs> barely any of them are tech savvy. So it was much easier getting them to use once they saw Bambi and was like, Oh, and they could see everything right there. And they just literally have to click on stuff, different parts of their trip. It was way better that way easier for them. How long do you think it took your average driver to pick up Bambi? Well, someone who knows how to use a phone correctly, <laughs> less than a week, a few days. I wouldn't even say, yeah, a, day a few three. days. Yeah. yeah. But someone who's not very good at using the phone, probably a week. Like who's oh, not yeah. tech savvy. Yeah. Gotcha. And at the time that you made the move over to Bambi, you were at how many drivers? There's five. I think there was five. Interesting. So it seems like you weren't like maybe fully using your old system at the time that you moved on to well Bambi. we used it as much as we knew how to use we it. tried right no we we tried to use it in its full capacity this mm. the software wouldn't let us yeah it, well, was, it was it probably would let us if we knew how to use it properly like if she's mm. kind it was hard it was hard and we didn't get a lot of help direction mm -hmm. um customer service availability i think those things played a huge factor Gotcha. So let me ask you this. There are more than two systems out there, right? There's more than mm -hmm. just system and Bambi. I'm sure you've looked at other systems. How did you make your decisions about what to use? Um, so like I said, in the beginning, we did a lot of research on what we wanted ours to do, and we really wanted it to have the, um, the billing capabilities, and all that kind of stuff all wrapped in together. We wanted to have one system where we could do, um, send out invoices, book trips, do the drivers, track the drivers, all of that. So that's why we went with the original one we went with. Cause also too, we we are a provider for one insurance company. So Route Genie does have something that 
um, integrates with the C the 1500 forms, which we never learned how to use it, but um, <laughs> they did have that feature, which also piqued our interest when we first signed up. Um, but right now that's not, that's not important to us anymore because we have a dis different system for that anyways. But that was one of our main factors in picking them originally is because we were looking for one software that could do everything. So what system do you use for the 1500 forms? So we have, we are Medicare providers. So we have to use Medicare's like, um, their website their their electronic billing to be able to send it to them so we have to fill everything in on their software and send it that way okay so sounds fun yeah <laughs> it is <laughs> can y'all pick some of like i don't know the top few interesting challenges that you've had to deal with in mm -hmm. running protector transport services well we haven't really had anything with bambi because it's no. been so easy to yeah, Bambi's been do. the easy part of the the company. And we are, I can say we are getting ready to do our first client with the schedule, like give them their login mm -hmm. so they can schedule and see their trips. So we're getting ready to try right. that out for the first time. You all are planning to maybe move from eight vehicles now to something like a hundred vehicles next mm -hmm. year. What challenges do you foresee in scaling that big that fast i need help so yeah <laughs> um just uh keeping up our standards on employees like as far as we have a really good group of people and compassion and stuff like that is very high on our list of qualities somebody must have to be a driver for us or work in the office for us because we're not dealing with people who can live their lives normally so you have to have compassion you have to treat these people like they're your family like how you would want somebody to treat your family member that doesn't have the quality of life that everybody else has that you know can get around on their own normally so that's one of the main priorities for us is the quality of our employees which we paid a little bit more than other companies pay for drivers um so to me that's probably going to be the biggest challenge is keeping up finding people that work well with our business motto and then growing with growing so fast so that's probably going to be one of the biggest challenges for us is sticking to the company values yeah Qual quality over quantity like being able to stick i mean I don't think it's going to be hard for us to stick to them. It's going to be hard for us to grow at a fast pace. That might hold us back from growing as fast as we'd like to. Right. Yeah. I got Because, you. you know, we have had people in here that we've had to get rid of because they just weren't a good fit with our, like our motto and how we treat people and how we expect them to treat all the patients and stuff like that. So that's probably going to be something that slows us down a little bit. Actually, that's an interesting um, sort of point to dig into. Like when you've brought on drivers who mm -hmm. you realized, Hey, you know what? They don't fit with our values. What was it that made you realize that? And and how long did it take you to like test a driver? And how did you how did you handle removing them? Yeah, not, like about two weeks before we realized like, hey, this isn't this isn't a good fit. And it's it's because we have such a good group of people that they know when somebody's not like gonna work out. They know when somebody's not a good fit. They're like, hey, you know, this person is doing this and doing that and it's not really how we do things around here so it's, it's it comes out pretty fast okay two we weeks have, yeah, it's, yeah it's pretty quick mm -hmm. we have a, a driver supervisor and then mm -hmm. we kind of have some top drivers and so when we're going through our training process throughout those two weeks we assign that that new hire with the driving supervisor and also some of the other top drivers that we have and it's like okay how did they do and 
you can always tell too by a person's body language <laughs> as well you know it's like oh if they're you know holding something back and it's like no you know if they're going to be out there and especially if they're going to be with you think about it as your mom or your grandmother how do you want them to behave and it's like well maybe they could have done this differently or they could have done that differently and if it's just something that's too soon then a mistake that's too soon then we're not even gonna continue to keep risking it mm -hmm. yeah we have great reviews and we want to keep those reviews great speaking of reviews what are the sort of top ways that you all are getting new business like with hospitals private pay which is your bread and butter right yeah yeah so um our google reviews are one people say somebody we either drop someone off somewhere pick someone up somewhere or someone they know told them about us and then they looked at our website and our reviews and they thought everything looked great um and then all the hospitals talk to each other. So one hospital will tell, be talking to somebody from the other hospital, oh, we really need help with our transportation. They're like, oh, well, we have somebody really good for you. You should call them. So they call us. So it's some, we do some ads too, but we get most of our business from word of mouth and people that have used us before, like repeat customers. And then, like I said, a lot of we take people to different facilities and then they see us and they have a good interaction with us. And then they tell other people's family members about us and stuff like that. So that's most of it. That's awesome. Just do good yeah. work and the word spreads. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that like in your area, it's, it was mainly ambulance companies that mm -hmm. hospital had to use because you, your company didn't exist. Right. Is there just not, I mean, are there no other NEMT businesses in your area? There are, but most of them are small, like mom and pop, um, like one van type things that can't keep up with any sort of volume. And they just, they won't use companies like that. Okay. And then also there are, uh, there are, like how she's saying about the smaller companies, there are companies that will only take you in a certain mile radius. Yeah. So mm -hmm. a lot of calls that we do get, they're asking, you know, would, would do you travel 25 miles? And we do. We travel all over the state of Maryland, D.C., and some parts of Virginia. So it works like, yeah, where do you need to go? Mm -hmm. We don't put a cap on just a 10-mile radius. And you need okay. a transfer, we're going to take you. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, like, you're the only business around that has multiple vehicles and are willing to go distance, which... I wouldn't say the only be. one, but we... There's not that many, and Gosh. there's a lot of need in this area for it, especially like the D.C. area. Okay, so, so for you to scale from where you are now to 100 vehicles next year, mm -hmm. the demand is there. Mm -hmm. You have your commitment to making sure you only hire quality drivers who retain mm -hmm. your value. What are some of the ways that you think Bambi is going to help you reach that scale in this amount of time. And you mentioned that you're soon starting to use that feature where you give the facility a login mm -hmm. so they can add trips in directly for you to yeah. accept and reject. What, how else do you see Bambi helping you scale that fast? Just because it's so easy to use. Like it's so like as we scale and we get new drivers and we get new office people, it's not going to, it doesn't take much to teach somebody how to use it. So it's just, that's the main way that it's going to help us scale because it's so easy to use and simplified. Awesome. It's been, a I wish we would have done it sooner because yeah. it's way easier. It's yeah. helped us a lot to be able to grow and do. It has saved us a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time. And it's mm -hmm. helped us to be on time, know where we're going the one feature that i do really like because sometimes i struggle with when do we pick up like if the appointment's at one o'clock i'm like oh what time should we pick them up if the patient doesn't or the contract doesn't tell us pick up at you know 12 30 i have to try to figure out what time to pick them up and with bambi when you just put in the appointment time not the pickup time but if you put in the appointment time after you have the pickup address and destination address I, I tell every patient I talk to, well, if it's going to be at a different time, I'll just give you a call because my system is pretty smart and it'll just tell me what time to pick them up. And then I do add about 10 more minutes for load time as well. Yeah. So I like that feature. If you have good tech, 
be surprised at how far it can take you. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's why I have Shalice. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's so smart. She can do it all. So when she couldn't figure out Ralgina, I was like, okay, I'm not dumb then. Because if she couldn't figure it out, then I I knew something was wrong with the system and not not me. It was just way too many options you had to pick for different things and way too many screens and it just was tabs. way too many tab yeah tabs all those tabs and all that stuff different options you had to turn on and turn off and to make different things work it just was not it was overwhelming it was very overwhelming it's actually one of the reasons we made Bambi not just mm -hmm. them but all the others we yeah. just went to them and said hey <laughs> well if there anything wow. like that there's <laughs> no way I would want to use anything like that ever. No, it needs to be user friendly. Yeah. 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 That's what we figured. Like, if we make something that's half decent. <laughs> you no, know? and it's really decent. It's yeah. great. And your your customer service, I think, is really, yeah. really, really good too. It's really, really helpful how, you know, if I call you and, and you're like, if you don't answer, I get a text immediately. I'm in a meeting. I'll call you right back. And I, I get a call back from you within 10 to 20 minutes. And mm -hmm. I mean, and, and that's, a long period that's like one of the longest i've had to wait is 10 or 20 minutes because usually you answer right away and then you help us figure out whatever we need to you know figuring out i really appreciate you guys adding the feature for us for the attendees yeah so that they can see because that was one of the only things i think at one point that we were running into yep. is that when we had an attendant they would never know what their schedule was. So now with that feature, they're able to see who they're going to be with the next day, what the trip is going to be, what time it starts. So that's been helpful. You guys, you work with us too. So we yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, that was great. I mean, they love that. So they love that feature. And it's good for us because then we don't have them constantly knocking on the office door asking you know, well, what am I doing tomorrow? Where am I yeah. at? Who am I with? And yeah. what van am I in? They can see everything just as good as the, the driver that they're with. Well, I don't want to interrupt. Please <laughs> keep seeing <laughs> that. <laughs> well, that was a great, but now it's not. So yeah. we appreciate it. We appreciate you guys. And I don't know if it was only us that asked for that feature or if it was multiple companies. It was multiple but, other ones. Yeah. yeah. But it worked in our timing of yeah. asking for it and mm -hmm. getting it. So we appreciate it. That's all. Yeah. Well, I don't see you know. how not everybody can say the same things. Because mm -hmm. it's like, I'm telling you, going from what that was to Bambi was, <laughs> it's like night and day. So I don't, I don't understand how everybody wouldn't feel the same way. Because mm -hmm. it's everything you need to do is in Bambi. And it's so easy to do. Yeah. Like, it's so easy to do. I mean, even, you know, creating uh, creating your team accounts, yeah. um, a driver account, an attendant mm -hmm. account, an admin, like, just creating your driver profile is really simple. And editing, that editing. Yeah. That Being able is, to edit stuff. That is. The and Rao, Jeannie, you couldn't edit anything. You had no. to delete it start all over redo it oh but bambi you can unassign and reassign a trip in three seconds i'm ptsd i know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's horrible yeah you had to like delete the whole trip you couldn't unassign it and reassign it i mean if you could we didn't know how to do it <laughs> unassign it and reassign it to somebody else without deleting it and redoing the whole trip i know i've told you this before but I've heard this story from so many other people. Yeah. It is not Crazy. you. And then there's like three pages you would have to go through. I'm pretty sure it was yeah. a total of three pages you you had to go through. You 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 created something in one page, and then in another page you had to create something else, and then in another page you had to assign it to something. Three different tabs to go to to make a trip and assign it. And it just didn't make any sense <laughs> at all. And that was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. I tried really. watching the. I watched all the videos. Yeah. I couldn't even get. I mean, they lost me. They really did. Like, you all saw a demo of it before you decided to start using it. Was yeah. the demo like different from what you actually got? Well, it was. I was uh, somebody doing the demo. Like, it was a 
one of like we did the demo with you. It was like that with somebody from Route Genie, but obviously they knew what they were doing and they made it look easy because it did not look as hard as it really was in the demo. It was like, oh, we had this feature and we'd go to this page and you had the vehicles and you choose these options and like you put your payers in here and this and that. And like it did not look anywhere near as hard as it was. And my like, husband was to the point where he was like, find. <laughs> he said, I don't care how much it costs. Find a consultant that knows how to use Route Genie that can teach us how to use it. So then we spent all this time. Yeah. And resources and efforts in trying to find and that, that could help us. Too. That was a whole, whole ordeal. Mm -mm. So when Julian did come in to teach us just to show us his how, how he uses Bambi, that was so Bambi's easy anyway. Yes. But seeing an everyday person physically in our office with his tablet, you do this, you do that. Within three minutes, he had it. The, a new patient entered and assigned less than three minutes mm -hmm. really it would it literally takes us from the time we get our request in putting it in the computer in bambi and assigning it it takes us less than five minutes yeah two minutes maybe yeah two it's minutes so simple two minutes round genie was like 30 40 minutes yes yeah. it's terrible it really it was, was. <laughs> it wasn't really i mean it was really bad. So I don't know if everybody thinks it's as bad as we think it is. And that's why we think Bambi's like so great. But <laughs> we thought it was really bad. I, I've heard the same story many yeah. times. Yeah. So that's what like people should just try Bambi. Just try it. Once they try it for oh. like one week, they're gonna be like, oh no. You know how much time this saves us? Yeah. They're never gonna go back to us any other software that's like that never oh, i'm so glad <laughs> we're still recording right now <laughs> i'd go home and i'd want to cry every day yeah yeah i didn't have to use it as much as her because i was like i don't know how to use it and i'm not doing it and that would frustrate so. me because she's the smart one <laughs> and she's like i'm not doing it and i'm like she's like i can't figure it out i'm like so how do you expect me to figure it out i don't know what i'm doing and now it's great because she'll say, this is how we do it in Bambi. Right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now I got it. Yep. But I'm glad that I do know how to do everything in Bambi. I know how it's to use easy. it. Yeah. I know how to do everything in Bambi. I am in the process of training a new assistant in the office and I'm giving her tasks, you know, a little bit at a time. So I don't overwhelm her. And one of the things is let's focus. And I did, I wrote everything out step-by-step step on how to enter in a patient, uh, a trip in Bambi. And she's like, oh, that's it. And I'm like, yeah, let me see if you can do it. And she's a little slow only because she's still just learning and, and navigating where everything is, but she's already booking trips in mm -hmm. Bambi herself. She hasn't even taken a call yet. I'll take the call. I'll get the information. And then I just give it to her and let her put it in. And, and she's, she's already, only been doing this. This is this the start is, of her second week. And I didn't even start giving her any of mm -hmm. the information to input until Wednesday or Thursday. Mm -hmm. So it's really only her second or third day of doing it. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to kind of uh, just shadow with me a little bit and listen and watch to learn and then just throw little by little at her. But scheduling a, a trip is top priority. Mm -hmm. So it was like, let me see if you can do that and she's done it flawlessly it's been great thank you so much you're welcome hey, that's you christian hey how you doing hey, christian. nice to meet you he's one of our favorite drivers <laughs> oh boy all right <laughs> christian you ready to do this yeah run, run baby run, run. <laughs>